in this video, I want to talk about uh, mean and standard deviation. And then <clears throat> from it, I want to introduce the concept of normal distribution. Okay. So you may have seen a curve like this. This is called a bell-shaped curve. And uh, I'll talk about this later. So let's talk about mean first. Now, see, this is a population of data. You've got 10 data here, so you know how to find the mean. You To find mean, this is the notation for mean, x bar is equal to 2 plus, uh, I'll write this 2 times, uh, or 3 plus 3, plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus 5 plus 5, plus 6 plus 7. Okay, and then that you divide by the number of data. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So I've already done the calculation, so you can add this up. So this is going to be 43 divided by 10, which is 4.3. Okay, so this is this is called the mean or a measure of center. Okay, now the, whenever you have calculate mean, one other uh, measure or value you need to always calculate is the standard deviation. Now, the, let me write the formula for standard deviation. The formula for standard deviation is like, this is a Greek letter, sigma. X sigma n is, the formula is like this. Looks very daunting, but it is not. So this is sigma. Again, this is the, this is small sigma, and this is capital sigma. This is x minus x bar. The formula is x minus x bar the whole squared divided by n. Now, <clears throat> though this formula looks very difficult, what it tells us is it is nothing but the average of the deviation from the mean. So let me write SD or standard deviation is in simple language is average of average <coughs> or the mean average of deviation from mean average of deviation deviation means uh, how far away deviation from mean <coughs> okay so what is deviation suppose deviation when you talk about deviation from mean of any particular data deviation from mean deviation from mean i didn't write mean here so what is deviation of deviation from mean? So that means, in simple language, this means how far away a data is away from the mean. So you, if you talk about 2, how far away is 2 from 4.3? So, well, this is 2 minus 4.3. 2 minus 4.3 is uh, 2 minus 4.3. My brain is not working. <coughs> 2 menu run so 2 minus 4.3 is minus 2.3 so you can say what is this minus telling me this you can say minus sorry 2 is 2.3 to the left of 4.3 okay suppose if you talk about 3 so 3 take away 4.3 is uh, 3 take away 4.3 so let me again use my calculator 3 minus 4.3 which is minus 1.3, which means 3 is 1.3 to the left of uh, 4.3. Okay, so let me take, say, uh, 4 minus 4.3. 4 minus 4.3 is, is negative 0 0.3. So again, the same concept. 4 is 0.3 away from 4.3. Now, if you take, say, 5, 5 minus 4.3 is 0 0.7. That means 5 is 0 0.7 to the right of to the right of uh, 4.3. Or the deviation <coughs> of deviation from uh, deviation from mean of 5 is 0 0.7. <coughs> Excuse me. So now to work this out, I have made I've already done the working. <coughs> So this is your x and this is your x bar. So I've added them up and <clears throat> first you have to calculate mean, which is sigma x over n. That means sigma x stands for the sum of the 
values divided by the number of values, which is 4.3. Okay, so this is how you calculate. So this is 2 minus 4.3 is minus 2.3 and so on. Okay, and 7 minus 4.3 is 2.7. Okay, or 2.7 plus 4.3 is 7. Okay, whichever way. So if you, this is the deviation. So this is called, this you can call the deviation from mean. This is the deviation. This column stands for deviation from mean. So these numbers are telling us how far away a particular value is away from the mean. Okay. Now, the deviation can be positive or negative. And if you add the positive, uh, the deviation, it can become, because this and this will cancel each other out. So 2.3 and 2.7, to a certain extent, they cancel each other out. So the sum of deviation, the, if, the, if you take the mean of this, this will not give you the exact uh, deviation because this negative and positive cancel each other out. So to get rid of this uh, negative and positive, what we do is we square it. So we square it. So the square of 2.3 is, or negative 2.3 is 5.29. So let me show you that. <coughs> so bracket. Uh, negative 2.3 squared is 5.29. And then you square each of them and then you add it. So yeah, to nullify the square, then what you do is you take the square root. The formula is very logical. So this is, first you take the deviation, then you square it to nullify the positive and negative, and then you take the square root of it to nullify the square. Because square root cancels the square and this is the number which is 1.42 so we can say on an average the data or each of them is 1.42 away from the mean so this is how you can do it on a calculator so if you go to stats and you don't need to do this you just go to stats and enter the data so i haven't entered it so let us enter the data i want to look at the data so let us Oops, so, so just enter 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, and 7. Just to enter it, and then you go to calculate, and always check your setting. Press F6, and this should have list 1, and the frequency should be 1. So check that, and then you can exit. And then you press F1. That will give you the stats. Oops. So, so let me show you. So can you see X bar is 4.3, and this X sigma N is 1.4177. Okay? And that's what we've got. <clears throat> so if you find square root of, so let me show you that. So let me scroll out and uh, shift square root of 2.01 will give you 1.4177. I rounded this to 2 dp. So <clears throat> let me show you that again in the stats menu so that you can confirm. Calculate F1. So this is x sigma bar sigma n is 1.42. So the standard deviation of this data is 1.42. Okay. So let me briefly talk about standard deviation, oh, sorry, normal distribution. Now this, let me uh, copy and let me paste it on the next page. Okay. Now this is called a normal curve. Now this is a distribution. Suppose if you take anything, anything which is randomly, which occurs randomly in nature or even real life, anything which is random in nature. So what do I mean by that? You can take, say, the length of the leaf of a plant, if you take the height of year 12 students or the weight of year 12 students, and if you plot it and you draw a histogram, uh, if you take a, a huge, uh, suppose if the as the population becomes bigger and bigger, as it approaches infinity, in, uh, in theoretically, if you plot all the infinite or say a huge data set, you plot the 
uh, weight of year 12 students, about say 1,000 students, and you draw the histogram, and you draw the, if you try to plot the frequency, if on the x-axis you take, say, uh, the, the data, and on the y-axis you take the frequency, and if you plot it, you will get a bell-shaped curve. And this type of curve is called a normal distribution. Now, it has been found, this is called the enumerical uh, evidence. Okay. So, this is, say, this is your mean. Say, you consider your mean as zero. And this is one standard deviation. This is two standard deviation. And this is three standard deviation. So if you consider the mean as zero, and if you're expressing everything in terms of how far away, how many standard deviation far away each data is, you will find this uh, fact that between, or uh, let us let me talk about this first. If you take, if you plot uh, any random variable, you'll get a normal distribution, and it is found that 34% is between mean and one standard deviation. So 34% to the uh, left and 34% to the right. So in other words, roughly 68%, let us only look at the first two digits, 68% of the data will always lie between uh, minus one standard deviation. So this is minus one SD standard deviation. Minus one stands for? minus one standard deviation, this is one standard deviation. So let me give you an example. It doesn't make sense if I only talk about with zero and one. If suppose, let us take an example. If the mean of a normal distribution, let us take need numbers, say is 50, and the standard deviation is say five. Okay, so suppose let us say this is the weight of year 12 students. Okay, so the mean of a population of students is 50 and the standard deviation is 5. So if you consider, okay, so if this is 50, so you will find the maximum, the distribution like this. So let me write. So this is a 50. You are going in terms of uh, standard deviation. So you go one standard deviation to the right. So this is 55. If you go two standard deviation, which is 60. And if you go three standard deviation, it is 65. If you go to the left, one standard deviation, it is 45, this is 40, and this is 35. Okay, so it has been found that if anything is normally distributed, everything in, in real life, when you plot it, will model a normal distribution. You can say that 68% of the students would lie between 45 and 55. You can say... 68% lies between one standard deviation, between one standard deviation, means between 45 and 55. The 95%, 95% of the data lies between, lies between two standard deviations. That means 95% of the data would be, bit, the students, 95% of the students would be between 40 kg and 60 kg. And, 99%, this is 99%, 99% would lie between three standard deviations. So in, in simple language, it means 99% of the data would be between 35 kg and 65 kg.